I'm just wondering where you are because I'm now at the airport. A breakfast place that starts with P. Morning. Hello. Hi guys. No, I'm back here. Back got you. Passport. <laughs> forgot, forgot to yesterday. Have you got your passport? Always got passport. Always got the passport. How many, how many years have I been travelling? Of course I've got it. Went to check for my stuff. So. No, it's missing. <laughs> it was my uh, my document wallet. Yeah. Um, had fallen out of the document folder. It, um, as I was leaving my house in Shrewsbury, like, within my hand, it had fallen out. So it was on the side. So, so, so mum came one way at midnight last night. Rachel was looking forward to it. one last cuddle. N nice bit of night, just night and Rachel having a nice bit of time together. Your mother uh, turned up. <laughs> no, no, even worse. Rachel, you might drive me halfway between here and Shrewsbury. So, oh, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> With my walking charges in Condor, that is an excuse for me to use the primary charges. Yeah, they're lovely. They're amazing. Yeah. And, they're, they're, they're and they've got a special ass bit yeah. so you can go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Done. Back up again. Go. Brilliant. In and out in 10 seconds. It's crazy, so. Well, that's what you need. Yeah. Don't want to be freezing your willy off. I'll take time about it. I've got a bean on your frog. No. <laughs> Cheers, Russ. I'm going with that idiot to Greenland. So, so since October last year, we've had this had it in our mind that we're going to head out to Greenland and cross from east coast to the west coast. And finally, it's actually happening. We're here in the in Stansted Airport, about to fly. So we're going to be man hauling from the east coast Tasselak over to the west coast, Kangaloo Sack, 335 miles. One of the most inhospitable climates in the world. Can't wait. Cool. How long is it going to take you? Uh, <laughs> depends how slow Nile is, but it could take us about up to about 24 days. Yeah, so. Yes. Pete, me, and Murray are going to have basically five days living like Huckleberry Finn out in, in Tasselak in like a little training area. I'll be teaching them how to ski using the, the telemark skis and the skins that we're using across the ice. We'll go find some snow, find some crevasses and, and, and hike around, practice our routine, getting our tent up, getting, getting everything sorted and just, just learn what it's like to be, be there in the, in the Arctic. We'll be going through setting up the camp and setting up the tent, cooking routines, um, various other skills and drills they'll need to uh, survive in the Arctic environment. Specifically non-endangered, not listed, not listed by What do you think is going to be the toughest thing about the trip, other than going with Niall? <laughs> <laughs> what, apart from having to battle with Niall's a million and ten facts of society? Oh my god. Convention for International Trade in Trade and Endangered Species. <laughs> about, yeah. <laughs> So, what are you most looking forward to on this trip? The exposure. Just being completely isolated in a totally exposed place, 360 degree views of nothingness. We're going to walk about 10 hours a day, um, and the, like the first week or two is going to be uphill, so um, it's going to be tough. What are you taking with you to kind of keep your mind occupied? I've just got an um, amazing load of political debates to have with myself and loads of facts to run through my head. And other than polar bears, what else might you see along the way? Probably going to see Niall taking a poo. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a guarantee. <laughs> We're going away for another four weeks. Poor old Rachel. She's luckily just being an absolute gem of putting up with it. Surprisingly enough, we're about a million kilos overweight. What function is this performing? That's what we get really hard. That's what we have our margaritas, surely. Yeah, of course. Why are you going to Greenland? What's the motivation behind it? See, it's a, a major polar exploration. Uh, it's seen as the third of the big three classic polar expeditions. Greenland is basically uh, a, a must-do prerequisite for any uh, further um, polar ex um, expeditions. It would be my stepping stone into further polar exploration. Doing this uh, week of training is going to be an excellent recce for a future expedition. It sets me up well to do future South Pole expeditions. What do you think is going to be the biggest challenge in this trip for you? Not a big fan of endurance, really. 
so I don't know why I'm here to be quite honest. <laughs>